So one of the biggest changes in this new update is that every brush has like increased opacity. So for the Superstar brush for the version 1, no matter how you paint, when you overlap, even if you press softly or hardly, um, regardless, it's just an overlap, you are unable to blend any colours. But for version 2, there is the ability to blend colours. If you just press softly, you are able to blend colours already. Then next up is the blending properties of colours. Like this is the default setting when it comes to blending. It's just like an overlay, which means that when you overlay colours over each other, they are just like being layered with opacity. But if you see here, there's a direct change of colour. Like here, it's like obviously green. There are certain brushes that has different blending properties. One of them is the Superstar brush. And the other one is the wet liner. You can see that there's a huge difference in color when it comes to blending. And the rest are just behaving normally as usual. These are all like normal behavior. Next up, we have the dual brush. So this dual brush, usually when you paint in version 1, it's like random. Like now I'm using yellow and green and the color change is just random. But in version 2, it's no longer random. All you have to do is to press harder to like change color. And this can give you a lot more control over like your painting when it comes to watercolor digitally. Then the next thing that I want to talk about is that there are two new brushes in this update. The first new brush is called Solid Color Brush, which is going to give you full opacity in just two layers. So you just paint over twice, you get like full opacity. And they have strong stable colors, so this will be good for the coloring page because you'll be using this to fill in the shapes a lot easier and quicker that way. The last change is to the eraser and white bloom. So in version 1, the blooms are a lot more gradiated, like it's soft and the edges are soft. If you use eraser, of course, then there is no bleeding edge. Use white in your paint tool and then use the eraser and white bloom and you are going to get these beautiful blades here. But these blades are like super faded out and slow because you got to like slowly paint your way to get this effect. Which is why I created the second new brush called the Crispy Eraser and White Bloom brush. So this brush is going to give you the same effect quicker. You don't have to press harder anymore and you don't have to like keep like slowly getting the effect that you want. The moment you just paint with this brush, the effect is going to be there immediately. And the edge is a lot crispier and less faded compared to the first version. So it depends if you want to use which brush. So I have like 